We so heartbroken, we don't even know. We can't, we still don't understand what's going on. She was always laughing and smiling every chance she gets. Ariana was a very outgoing person, very smart, loving person. You look around, I mean, there's a blood stain. Nobody bothered to clean up yeah. the blood. What type of trauma does that, you know, invoke uh, to come past and see this amount of blood just freely, you know? Ariana Murphy was a vibrant and ambitious young woman filled with big dreams of making a difference in the world. At just 19 years old, she had already graduated at the top of her class and was making waves as a talented hairstylist. She was also set to embark on a new journey as she prepared to start nursing school that summer. Her family spoke fondly of her infectious laughter, her bright smile that could light up a room, and her loving nature. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. On Easter Sunday, Ariana Murphy was out with her friends in the South Austin neighborhood at Poppy's Chaproom, a local gathering spot, celebrating the holiday. The atmosphere was filled with laughter and joy as they enjoyed each other's company and shared in the spirit of the day. However, their evening took a devastating turn when gunfire suddenly erupted, tearing through the air and shattering the peace of the night. In the chaos that followed, Ariana, an innocent bystander, was struck in the head by a stray bullet. The vibrant energy of the gathering turned to panic as Ariana collapsed to the ground, her friends screaming in horror at the unfolding tragedy. Ariana lay on the ground, her life slipping away with each passing moment. The sounds of sirens filled the air as emergency responders rushed to the scene, but despite their efforts, there was nothing they could do to save her. She died at the scene. Four other young women were injured in the shooting. One woman suffered a graze wound to her leg and face, another was shot in the ankle, a third was shot in the leg, and a fourth suffered a gunshot wound to her toe. They were rushed to the hospital and are expected to survive. But we begin with a developing story. Two people, including a teenager, are dead and seven others hurt. This comes after two mass shootings on Easter Sunday. CBS 2's Asal Razai has more on what she's learned about one of those victims. Asal? One of those victims identified by the medical examiner's office this morning. Take a look at your screen. We've learned Ariana Murphy is the 19 year old woman killed in Austin early Sunday morning. Police say she was shot in the head after an unknown person opened fire inside Poppy's chat room on Madison Street. Police say four other women were shot. Two of those victims under the age of 18, all of them taken to the hospital and expected to recover from their injuries. One neighbor we talked to decided to clean up the aftermath himself. You look around, I mean, there's a blood stain. Nobody bothered to clean up yeah. the blood. What type of trauma does that, you know, invoke uh, to come past and see this amount of blood just freely, you know, rest in that. Another shooting in Austin yesterday shut down this area near Ferdinand and Laverne. You can see police tape and evidence markers taking over that intersection. Chicago police say four people were standing on the sidewalk when a car pulled up, two people stepping out and opening fire, shooting a 16 year old in the head before they got away. That 16 year old victim later died at the hospital. We know three other men were shot at that scene, but are expected to recover from their injuries. Chicago police say they have not made any arrests, but they continue to investigate both of those shootings. I'm reporting from the 25th District Chicago Police Department, Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News. Her family, friends, and loved ones were left shattered by the loss of such a bright soul. Ariana's family, speaking for the first time since her untimely passing, struggled to come to terms with the incomprehensible reality of her absence. Brianna Murphy's family says she was set to start nursing school this summer after graduating at the top of her class. That future was taken from her Easter Sunday as she was out enjoying a night with her friends. When I tell her I love at the end of a conversation, as she tell me I love you more, daddy, as I'm going to miss hearing those words. Ariana Murphy's family speaking for the first time since she was killed Easter Sunday in a South Austin shooting. Just an innocent bystander, wrong place, wrong time, and it took my baby from us. We're so heartbroken, we don't even know. We can't, we still don't understand what's going on. The 19-year-old hairstylist was getting ready to embark on a new career to become a nurse. 
Her family remembering her vibrant energy and her signature smile. She was always laughing and smiling every chance she gets. Ariana was a very outgoing person, very smart, loving person. Her family says she was out with friends in the South Austin neighborhood along West Madison when police say someone shot towards the group. Ariana was shot in the head and died on the scene. The four others injured. And it's so sad. It's sad. It's a tragic thing that she had to leave the way she did. 37th Ward Alderwoman Emma Mitz together with Chicago police, community and faith leaders gathering where Ariana died to bring the neighborhood together and call for peace in light of the recent weekend violence and to find solutions to prevent any more tragic losses. It could have been one of us. It could have been one of our family members and we would need the same support. We can't do it alone, so when we have everyone here working together, it, it comes, hopefully we come with a solution. Chicago police say they are still investigating Ariana's murder, and so far no one is in custody. CPD and her family asking if anyone has any information to please contact investigators. The investigation into Ariana's murder continued, and her memory lived on as a symbol of resilience and unity. Though her life was tragically cut short, her spirit remained a guiding light for those who knew her best. And as the city grappled with the aftermath of yet another senseless act of violence, they vowed to honor Ariana's legacy by building a future where such tragedies were but a distant memory. Ariana's light shone brightest in the hearts of those who loved her most. Though she may have been taken from them too soon, her memory would forever serve as a reminder of the power of love. As we bid farewell to Ariana Murphy, may her spirit find eternal peace. Though her time with us was tragically short, her impact on those around her was profound and enduring. May her memory be a source of comfort and strength to her grieving family and friends, guiding them through the darkness with the promise of brighter days ahead. As we honor her life and legacy, let us also renew our commitment to building a world where senseless violence has no place, ensuring that Ariana's light continues to shine on in the hearts of all who knew her. Rest in peace, Ariana Murphy. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.